these dominoes, if you will, began to fall on February 4th, 1987, when Liberace died in Palm Springs of complications from the HIV virus. Knowing that Liberace would no longer be able to dispute or take legal action against Thorson for his claims about their relationship, Thorson began talking to a ghostwriter for a book. The book was to be called Behind the Candelabra, My Life with Liberace, and it was scheduled to be published in 1988. After his arrest early in 88, on the robbery warrant filed by Rick Jackson, Thorson was bailed out by none other than Eddie Nash. I think it can be assumed that Nash didn't want the man who knew too much sitting in jail and getting any ideas about maybe flipping and becoming a snitch. But soon after Thorson's release, Nash made a move that would have a dramatic effect on his life as well as many others. For years, Nash had been putting the squeeze on Thorson, making him pay for the prodigious amounts of drugs he used at the same time using him in his organization. What Thorson had characterized as a trusting relationship was now anything but. And the final squeeze play by Nash was to demand 25% of Thorson's take on the upcoming book. Thorson, who had already agreed to a 5% cut, balked, and this caused Nash to go to his bail bondsman and revoke the bail he had put up for Thorson. Thorson was returned to jail.